Hi, I was considering uh, uh, different external hard drives because my, uh, my computer was running out of memory, hard disk space, and I needed to back up all my hard disk to something safe. And uh, I didn't want to buy a two terabyte or four terabyte external hard disk and then find that I have run out of it within the end of the year. Because the rate at which I was uh, developing YouTube videos, I realized that I needed something bigger. So I searched around, I found that, uh, that the Western Digital uh, 12 terabyte easy store external hard disk was within my budget. And I ordered it from eBay and it arrived one week later, it arrived today. And so now I'm going to show you the unboxing and how I used my Western Digital 12 terabyte hard disk. And uh, I think it's the best thing I've done in a long time. I just received my 12 terabyte Western Digital hard disk, external hard disk. I bought it on eBay and uh, FedEx uh, shipped it to me. Not bad, quite fast, no? Very fast. I am so happy I've got it. Okay, now I have to open it up without uh, doing too much damage. I don't know when I bought this knife. Must have been years ago. And I never used it. 39 ringgit. That's about 10 US dollars. Let's take all this out. Really glued, eh? I thought it's going to be useful. Okay, this can be left aside. Let me throw it away. There, easy store. Let me open this up. Let me leave this aside. Okay, let's take it out of the box. What else is in the box? This is my 12 terabyte hard disk, external hard disk, Western Digital. Okay, 
hard disk connector, 12 volt DC. Ah, USB port. And my power cable. There. Oh shit. Whatever connector is this? Now I have to find an adapter for this. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. There. I got an adapter. Wow! Now I can run. It's a pity they didn't put it this way. Eh? They put it this way. That might. Okay, let me get rid of this. Let's get the cable out. That's all. Empty. Oh, the book. Booklet. What does the booklet say? Nothing that I need to know. Okay. Okay, I have to plug this, plug this into my mon computer. Can I reach? And I can test it out. I'm gonna plug it in here, power supply. And then the other cable goes in here. This cable goes in here. And my USB port is here. I'm using USB 2.0. Get that all out of the way. I switch on my computer. I haven't switched on my PC, uh, the hard disk drive. Let me switch it on. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a light on there. Right there. The light is on. Can you see? There's the light on. Powered up. Now, let me see if my computer. Ah, it's blinking. Ah! Detected E drive. Install, install. Easy store. Let's install it. Install now. Okay, no internet connection. Why is there no internet connection? Ah, oh yeah, I haven't switched on my internet. Connect. Connected. Ah, 
Yeah, okay, it looks like it's doing something. Ah, good, good. It's made connection. Oh, it's slow. Eh? Internet connection is slow. But I don't need an internet connection because I'm using it as an external hard disk. I wonder how long this is going to take. Or should I turn it off? Ah! Okay. Good. Quit installation. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's start copying and seeing if I can copy one big directory. My videos. Copy to here. Paste. 134 gigabytes. It's on USB 2. So I am pretty sure it will be a bit slow like my normal hard disk. This laptop is about 10 years old so I have to I have to upgrade it in the next two or three months. As it is it's overheating I put a little clip there too so the air fan can go in and cool the device. But the most important thing I have got my 12 terabyte hard disk. Let's see if it will show me. Ah, 11.99 brilliant 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 thank you Western Digital because I was running out of hard disk space on my external 2 terabyte hard disk so I will stop the video for now and come back later about an hour's time and see so it's taken about one and a half hours to back up 134 gigabytes of hard disk space Okay, it's done, finished. So I backed up my Sony Alpha 5100 videos. How much memory did I take? So little. Now the total is 141 gigabytes. 10 gigabytes was originally occupied by the hard disk. About 10 gigabytes. Now uh, 134 has been transferred here. Okay, not bad. For USB 2.0 connector, I bought this easy store, Western Hard Disk, 12 terabyte Western Hard Disk because it could do USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. So when I upgrade this PC, hopefully in the next three or four months, I will upgrade to a USB 3 and then it will be 10 times faster to back up my hard disk. The current hard disk in, in internal hard disk on my laptop is two terabytes. It cannot, because this is a 10 year old machine, it cannot, use uh, hard disk larger than two terabytes and i'm finding that some tracks are corrupted so that is why i had to get something that would last me a long time this internal hard disk was only upgraded about two years or three years ago and it's already got failed tracks but the advantage of uh, the western digital 12 terabyte is at the rate i'm generating youtube videos uh, it should last me about three to five years before it gets full. I'm recording uh, 1080p videos. I'm not recording 4K because this machine, this PC is very slow for 4K videos. I can't do 4K videos and it'll occupy so much space. I will run out of space within a few, few weeks. And the other reason I am doing 1080p, I'm doing 1080p at 24 frames per second. Very rare for me to do uh, 240 or 60 frames per second because they will occupy even more memory. So most of my videos are done at 24 frames a second. So this will allow me to have more uh, smaller files, video files. And I use Handbrake for compression. Uh, Handbrake is very good. and you get about one, one sixth to one eighth compression. That means if you have 800 megabytes video, you will compress it to 100, 150 megabytes. That's brilliant. Thank God I got the handbrake. This is my unboxing of my Western Digital 12 terabyte Easy Store hard disk. 
external hard disk. Thank you Western Digital and thank you eBay for selling me this device. I couldn't get it in Malaysia. I couldn't get it. They are selling more expensive uh, devices uh, in Malaysia and with the lockdown there is no computer shop open and the devices they are selling are my box duo western digital my box duo i don't need a my box duo that's they are too expensive for me this is good enough i just want to mention one more thing when you finish copying to your hard disk don't switch off the external hard disk 12 terabyte external hard disk immediately go down go down there eject easy sorry go down to eject easy store because there may be some data in the cache in the 12 terabyte hard disk so if you just switch off power to the hard disk it may lose what's in the cache so when you do an eject store it will flush out the cache and you're safe to remove the hardware you can unplug it yesterday i unboxed this uh, my Western Digital Easy Store 12 terabyte external hard disk, and uh, I used to use this as my backup, a two terabyte hard disk, external hard disk, and uh, uh, since I have a lot of software development videos for YouTube and uh, photographs and other documentation on my hard disk internal hard disk i decided that i'll back up everything into the western digital 12 terabyte hard disk it took me 12 hours to back up the whole thing because my old piece uh, laptop this one here uses usb 2.0 when I upgrade, I'll upgrade to USB 3.0 and then it will take one tenth the time, probably an hour plus. So it looks like all of us as video producers, uh, photographers, software developers actually run out of hard disk memory space. And that is why I bought the 12 terabyte hard disk. But the other thing that we have to consider is video file compression you have a good program like handbrake it does wonderful file compression you can compress the original file from one eighth of of the original file size to one sixteenth of the original file size which is brilliant so i've covered some video file compression using handbrake which i think most of you will find very very useful and helpful and I have explained why the 12 terabyte Western Digital Easy Store external hard disk is really good. Especially at my rate of making videos, it should last uh, three to seven years before I have to look for a larger hard disk. That's brilliant, isn't it? So if you think that there are better hard disks available, let me know. One day I too would like to buy another hard disk too.